It's time to look at Kaggle. Okay, Kaggle is special. If you've never heard of Kaggle, well, let's go to it first, okay? You just go to Kaggle.com, okay? Kaggle.com. Look, you're home for data science. All right. So what is Kaggle? Kaggle is famous for Kaggle competitions. This is where people and groups of people compete against one, one another in machine learning competitions. Machine learning competitions are famous. They actually got their big start, really, from the Netflix competition, in which Netflix offered $1 million to whoever could improve their user recommendations by 10%. Um, I forget the year of that. Can we just look it up? Netflix competition. Um, when was it? Okay, Netflix competition, machine learning. The Netflix prize. Okay, very famous in history. And it looks like, what my guess is, well, what is the year? I shouldn't guess. Okay, so looks like around 2007. So it's been a while now. But I can tell you what happened is, it was just a big game changer. Like the amount of machine learning that was developed for pe with people competing against one another, trying to win this prize, like ended up being more valuable than actually the winning prize itself. It's a really fascinating story. I encourage you to look it up. Um, and since then, machine learning competitions have become like a staple of the machine learning community with big cash prizes often awarded for the winners. And also free ones. If you look at competitions, um, you can see like active competitions, $100,000 prize and so on. Anyway, Kaggle is more than competitions. It also has data sets and a lot of great data sets for machine learning. So Kaggle also is known to have pretty clean data sets overall. So it's a nice place to look up data sets. Okay. They have one of the biggest data set warehouses of all. So Kaggle does require user registration to use their data set. If you go back in, you can see I'm logged in here as Berkeley Coding Acad. Needless to say, I cannot get the EMY. Um, I also have my own personal Kaggle account. It's nice to, to join. They don't bother you. I would encourage it if you're into this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you two things right now, really. Number one, how to get a Kaggle data set but also how to load any data file, okay? So that you download to your local machine. So let's pick something fun. How about cell phones? What a cell phone data set do we have? Look at that, Amazon, I'll just hit enter. Now, now look at this, 179 data sets, staggering. Amazon cell phone reviews. By the way, I should state here, when it, with the data sets that we're focusing on, we want numerical ones. So I don't think we want so much reviews. Um, if you look on the left side, we'll talk about some of this later. But there's some the sizes. Most should be okay. Beginner could be good, right? Because we're beginners here. iPhone or Android. That looks good. Let's try this one. Pretty cool. Um, so we have a bunch of data. So you, you we're previewing the data here. And then at the end, I'm listening to subjects. It looks like the thing to PC or Mac, I guess, is the, um, the I, you know, iPhone or Android, right? And so it looks somehow that using this other information to try to predict whether somebody is going to have an iPhone or an Android, potentially very valuable. So you see this download option. And again, you have to have an account. Hey, if you want to do it right now, go ahead, sign up for a Kaggle account. It's cool. If you don't want to, totally fine here. Okay. Just watch me. This is going to be to download any data set anywhere from your local machine. So I click download and you can see, so if this, this shows up as a zip. Now, if it's zipped, you do want to unzip it. So go ahead and click. If it's not, you don't have to click on it. And then mine, I don't think it shows up here, but it shows up under my downloads. Um, 
It's called Clean Phone. Actually, I can just bring it over. So here you go. Clean Phone Form Responses. Okay. All right. And now I, I need to somehow get it into here. Okay, so let's give this a new text header and let's call it load data from file. So this is load data from, let me say from file. Shift enter, get that coding cell. So I wanna now use this left side here, okay? Left side. And then you see this file, let's click there, right? That's sensible. And then, suppose I, get, I think we just wanna load it here. So sometimes, I, yeah, upload to session store. Sometimes I don't know the right little icons, what they mean. Well, that makes sense, right? So like you, you can't get it yet. You've got to get it in the, the collab environment first. You got to get it here. So click on that and just go to your downloads and look at that. This shows up first. No, that's not it. It's an alphabetical order. Um, I want clean phone was the name. You got to keep track of the name and then click open. See how it's a CSV? Okay, accept the reminder. And you can see it's actually there on the left, right? Like there it is. Now it's gotta be in the right place, okay? Is it in the right place? I don't know. So it's not really a URL here. So what we can do straight is, oh no, there it goes. My keyboard was, was, wasn't connected for a second, I think. Import pandas is PD, okay? df equals pd.read underscore csv. And then we want to actually put this whole name in the quotes. Um, um, copy path, maybe. Let's try that. Now, since it's got this content here, so I'm not for sure, but let's just try it. And then how do we try it? Try it with the final df.head. Okay. All right. Note that you can move these to help get a cleaner setup. Okay, let's see if that works. It actually did work. So copying the path worked. It's actually pretty simple. So that's how you load a file into Colab. Just get it on your machine, go to the left, click on this, the, the file folder, click here, upload se to session storage, and finally click here, copy path. Kaggle is simply one place of many that you can actually do it. To show you another one, go to google.com. Oh, there's a Google dataset search that maybe provides a link. See that data set search.research.google.com. So you look at this, you can click here. So pick your favorite topic. I don't know what you guys are into. Everyone's gonna be a little different, right? You might be into, I don't know, comedy movies or something. Is that data sets in comedy movies? We're gonna find out. You bet they do. Okay, there's a lot of data sets. I want to be clear about one more thing before signing off on this. Data sets are stored as raw data. It's not data interpreted by somebody else. We do the interpretation. We're going to show you how this is going to be fun.